Welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I have a really exciting video to do. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and making soap from Makesy. This video is sponsored by Makesy. They sent me their all-inclusive beginner soap making kit. I mean this kit comes with everything from mold to a stick blender, um, containers to mix in, the lye. It has everything. I haven't dug into all the boxes yet. So we're gonna do this together. We're gonna unbox everything, see what we've got, and then we're gonna make some soap. And I'm gonna follow their instructions, pretend like it's my very first batch of cold processed soap. Oh yeah, this is a cold processed soap kit, <laughs> by the way. Um, I'm just really excited to dive in here. So, so I need to get the camera flipped around and get my boxes up here. The box I showed you is the smallest of three boxes that come when you order this full all-inclusive soap making kit. Um, and we are gonna unbox it all together. Together, see all the goodness that they sent me. I'm so excited to do this. And Makesy has given me a discount code. If you like what you see today in the kit and you know somebody who has been wanting to make cold process and hasn't jumped in yet, I think you should check this kit out. Um, and there's a discount code. I'll leave a link down below. And so let's get into the goodies. We'll unpack first, then we're going to make some soap. All right, let's dig into box number one here in our Makesy lineup. I am so excited to get in here and do this. Oh, oh, what do we have? Okay, this little box has, oh my word, it's liquid, pre-mixed 50-50 sodium hydroxide solution. Oh my word, that would make soap making so easy. It's all pre-mixed. So you get two bottles of the sodium hydroxide. All right, that's box number one. All right, box number two is a little bit bigger and it has a liquid sign on it. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> it's kind of big on this table. Oh my word. Okay, this I'm excited about. This is their Trinity Oil Blend. So all of your oils are already pre-mixed in here in a perfect, you know, measurements. And then you got your liquid lye solution. How easy is that? You got your oils, you got your lye. That's pretty much soap right there, but there's a whole other box to get to. So let's open right, that one up. Here's the last box. It says, ready, set, and make. <laughs> I love that. Um, this is the biggest box and it obviously is not fitting all in my screen here. So I'm gonna open it up and I will show you piece by piece as we dig in here and see what we've got. These boxes are packed very well. I will say that lots and lots of padding. <laughs> All right, oh my goodness, here is all the good stuff. Look what we've got. Oh my word, I can't even take it all in. Okay, let's start with the things closest to me. You have a whole pack here, Botanicals Discovery Kit. So what do we have here? Lavender buds, rose petals, red rose petals, butterfly pea flowers, organic chamomile flowers, safflower petals, and whole leaf sage. Oh my goodness, all these botanicals come in there and they're each individually packed. All right, let's dig in here and see these pretty flowers. So you get all kinds of botanicals in this kit. Oh look, how beautiful and vibrant. These are the butterfly pea flowers, so pretty. I don't need to pull them all out. I wanna get into the rest of the stuff, but um, a whole leaf sage, that is gorgeous. What's this? Oh, safflower petals. Look at that color. Ooh, those are pretty. My goodness, my wheels are turning. I've got some inspiration going in my mind. So, all right, botanicals. That's the first thing I opened up in here. And then mica discovery kit. Let's open that up. Look at those micas. All right, that's so cute. These little jars are perfect. Gold mica. So many colors. All right, what do we have? We have pearl mica, gold, copper, mint, blush, and lilac. And that, you know, with that much mica, yeah, you can color several batches of soap with these. So quite a beautiful range of mica colors. All right, let's keep digging in. Oh, we've got some fine pink Himalayan salt. Beautiful, I love that. And we have kale and clay. You all know I love my kale and clay. Perfect. So these are some additives that we've got. Okay, here's my invoice. I'll look at that in a minute. A silicone spatula, which is lye safe. 
Love that. Nice flexible tip for mixing. Oh my word. Look at it even. So there's a soap mold here, which I'll grab in a second, but it even comes with a soap cutter. I mean, this thing has everything. I'm serious. We're going to make soap just using the materials that I got from Makesy in their beginning soap maker kit. But a soap cutter to go with this soap mold. I'll grab this out next. Oh my word, this is a very substantial soap mold. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look, it says Makesy on the lid. And you know I love a lid on my soaps because I like to gel soap it off and there's this gorgeous silicone liner and it even has the holes on the bottom for easy um, unmolding. I love that. The details are on point. They thought of everything. Let's see. Oh, and this even has handles on the end. This mold is fabulous. Wow. Color me impressed. <laughs> really nice. All right. So I am looking at this mold and this looks to me like a standard soap mold, not a tall skinny. It looks like a perfect standard size um, bar when you cut these, and I love that. And this lid, I just, I am tickled. This, this mold is amazing. All right, so there's the mold. We got the cutter. Let's keep going. What else do we have here? Oh, safety goggles. They thought of everything. Y'all, yeah, they really did think of everything. And these are nice goggles, too. They have the little air vents so they won't steam up when you're wearing them, you know. Sometimes if it's warm, it can get kind of stuffy feeling. These are nice goggles. And, of course, gloves, because you always have to wear gloves when you're working with lye. And arm protectors. And I have been notoriously bad for that, but if you are a new soap maker, covering all your arm is a really good idea. I have gotten a couple of lye burns before, no fun. And so they even give you sleeve protectors, all the safety gear you need here. So you got arms protected, hands protected, eyes protected. They thought of everything. All right, let's see what's in this little bag. There's so many goodies in this box, I can't even get over it. What is this? Sage and lavender and rose water and hibiscus. So these must be the fragrant oil. Yep, these are the fragrant oils. Let's, let's open this up and smell one. I wish we had smell-o-vision. You know I do. Oh, that's nice. That's very herbaceous smelling, not sweet and floral. It's got a real earthy, um, herby smelling. Let's look at this one, Rosewater Hibiscus. I love the name of that. And I'm thinking of the botanicals that came in this box. Oh my word, my mind is going. Oh, that's lovely. It definitely has rose and another floral in there. Very feminine. I think this is beautiful. These are great. Okay, we'll be working with those for sure. All right. Oh, look at this. You know, I love these containers. My big one that I do is these um, polypropylene short form containers are so perfect for soap making. And you get two of them, one for a color swirl, I think. And here's the big size to uh, mix the main batter in. These are perfect. I love it. And these, of course, you just use these over and over again, like the soap mold that comes with this and these containers and all the safety gear. You can just use these over and over again. It's not just a one-time use. All right, we got the containers out. Let's look here. It even comes with a stick blender, y'all. Incredible. I'm serious. They literally have thought of everything. I am so impressed. Let's pull this out. So it looks like you're standard stick blender here with yep got the little rocker button on there and here's what I want to try this is important making soap for me is that you can lock and unlock easily so lock clicks in you buzz and you can very easily I love that this has a nice locking mechanism so when you are mixing a soap because the um you know, the motor of the stick blender is up here. This is where the weight is. You don't want to leave your whole stick blender in a shallow container. It could tip it over. Nightmare. So if you can just unscrew this quickly, you can leave that down in your soap and set this off to the side for safety reasons. So this is a very nice stick blender. I like that clicking mechanism. 
so excited to do this. All right, so there's the stick blender and look at this. Last but not least, I think I know what's in here. Another important part of soap making is a scale. And I think that's what this is. It doesn't say it on the box. I'm gonna take a guess, yep. They even sent a digital scale. Look at that. They thought of everything. I think that's the bottom of my barrel here. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this box off and set everything out on the table so we can see all the glory of what came in this big box. All right, here is just about everything. I can't fit my beautiful Trinity oil blend in, or in the camera window here. I was just double checking my invoice to make sure I got everything. There is a lot in this kit, let me tell you. This is about $360 worth of goods here if you bought everything individually, and you can get this kit for $250, and I have a discount code that I will share down below. That's a pretty good deal. If you know somebody who has been wanting to dive into cold process soap making, there's the oil blend again, and this is a nice big gallon jug here. You get a lot of oil. Um, but if you know someone who's been wanting to make cold process soap, this kit comes with literally everything you need to make your first soap. You don't have to buy anything. It's all in here. So it's kind of a no-brainer, and I love that. So now I need to pick which fragrance I want, what botanicals I'm going to use. I have a, Well, I have a few decisions to make, and then we're going to come back and make some soap using all this wonderful products here. Uh, and one of the things they have on the Makesy website is a book that you can also get to accompany this kit and it tells you exactly how to use this 50-50 lye solution, how to measure, and um, it's a very inclusive book. Lots and lots of details. So I will leave a link for this kit and the accompanying book that gives you all the step-by-step -step directions you need. I mean, honestly, if you've never made soap before and you got this kit, you could do it. I, I really think you can. So with that being said, let's get everything cleaned up here so we can come back and make some soap. All right, we are back and I've made some decisions on colors and the fragrance I'm gonna use and the botanicals that are going on top. I had to sit and look at all the goodies for a while and finally came to my decision. So today we're gonna make rose water and hibiscus which smells so beautiful. This is a very gentle floral. It's not cloying or it doesn't smell like a grandma. It's very fresh, but it is floral and I love it. And so, you know, with the rose water, I pulled out the rose petals. So that's what we're gonna sprinkle down on top just because I think it really accents the theme of this fragrance. And then for the colors, I'm gonna split the batch and I'm going to do the pearl mica in the majority of it and I'm going to do a little bit of the lilac mica to kind of re represent the rosewater hibiscus theme. So these two colors will be what we're using today. I'm so excited to do this. And one thing I forgot to mention during the unboxing, because it wasn't in the box, is when you buy this whole cold process kit, which literally comes with everything, you also get the cold process soap making bubble book. And I have just a couple pages. It's a 51 page document. Oops, here we go. I don't want to knock anything over. But uh, I've scrolled down here to the cold process soap recipes. So it tells you how to do your very first soap with using only what comes in the kit. It's absolutely perfect. Um, so this is the recipe we're going to do today is their very basic recipe, but it has step by step directions on how to do it. And then after you make the original recipe here, they have other recipes where you add shea butter and a cocoa butter recipe and uh, patchouli. They have just have several different uh, cold process recipes. Sorry, I wasn't holding that in frame. I hope you can see all this, but it's a very, very inclusive starter guide that tells you step by step, it is foolproof. So we are gonna follow that recipe. I just printed out the two pages here for today, what we're doing. I'm gonna pretend like I've never made soap before and I'm gonna follow this step by step. I just printed out the instructions here. Okay, so we are gonna make this soap following the directions here. So step number one is put on your PPE. That is personal protection equipment, which I have right here. But I'm actually gonna put putting the gloves off until after I measure out my water because these are a little bit bulky. But here is my gear. So before I open up this lye bottle and get into the sodium hydroxide, my arm protectors, my gloves, and my goggles will be put on. So that is step number one. So they've got your safety covered first. Now we need to weigh out all the ingredients. Get the Trinity 
oil blend here, which is made up of olive oil, palm oil, and coconut oil, which is a wonderful basic oil blend for soap. So we need to get this up to 80 to 90 degrees to work with it. It says if your room temperature is already around 80 degrees, you don't have to worry about it, but it, it's cold in my basement. So when I pour this out, I'm going to take the temperature and make sure I'm up in that 80 to 90 degree window. All right, so the first thing I need to do is measure out 48 ounces of my Trinity blend oil here. So I'm gonna put the big pot that they gave me up here. I'm gonna tear out the scale. All right, and I'm gonna pour 48 ounces in here. All right, we've got 48 ounces. Now let's take the temperature and see where we're at. Seventy-one. It's a little bit cool, so I'm going to burst this in the microwave for probably about 10 to 20 seconds and let it warm up just a little because I'm going to follow the directions. So that's what they recommend. We'll be right back. Okay, now next on the ingredient list is I need seven ounces of water that I'm going to dissolve my pink Himalayan salt in here. And this works like sodium lactate. It hardens the bar. It makes a beautiful hard bar of soap. So I need to, and because this is a 50-50, uh, water lye solution that would be way <laughs> steep of a water discount that's steeper than I'm comfortable with so this is the extra water right now and in the directions here it says that you can use an aloe vera concentrate you could use a floral water concentrate it gives you some ideas so for this liquid portion you can you could probably do milk and oil but today we're going to do distilled water because you know I'm pretending like this is my very first soap so what I need here is seven ounces of distilled water Okay, so it doesn't tell me how much salt to put in, so I'm gonna use this entire one ounce pack in here, in the seven ounces, and it says to whisk it until it is fully dissolved. So let's get to that. All right, so I've got my salt water here. Here are the oils, and to the oils, I'm gonna add the kale and clay in here. They say it's to anchor the fragrance, so I guess theoretically I should be mixing these together, but I don't have a little container from them. So I'm gonna do like I normally do and put my kale and clay right in the oils here because I love that love clay in my soap. So there it is, I gotta get that blended, and then we'll add the salt water in here, kind of like milk and oil, but it's salt water and oil. Let me just say the stick blender is very powerful. It's lightweight and the engine is really nice. I love this stick blender that came with the kit. Okay, we've got the kale and all mixed in. Now I'm gonna blend in my beautiful pink Himalayan salt water okay now it's time to gear up because I'm gonna get ready to measure out our lye water solution here so let's get these arm protectors on got the arm protectors on let's get on these big gloves personally I like the smaller silicone gloves or silicone what am I trying to say the medical grade gloves, they're a little tighter in the fingers. These are a little bit clumpy, but you know what? They get the job done. These are gonna protect my skin. And they're reusable. So there is that, you know? When I use disposable gloves, you're throwing them away after each use. And these, you can just wash off and use over again. So you know what? That is, that is something to consider. <laughs> I really feel like I'm in a science lab right now. I'm loving it. Okay, so let me get this pushed out of the way, pull my scale back over, and what we need is 14 ounces of our 50-50 lye solution here. Okay. There we go. There's our lye solution. Let me get this out of the way and pull this over. And now I'm gonna save the fragrance off till I get my colors blended in because I am not sure how this, you know, if it's gonna speed up or not. And floral fragrances can sometimes be accelerating. So I'm just gonna proceed with caution. Okay, I've got my fabulous Makes You Mold over here. And, oops, if this is behaving really well, I'm gonna use the lid here to tilt this mold. This is something you can do in a single loaf mold that you can't do in a multi-loaf mold. So I'm excited to try this. If the soap is behaving and not going along too fast, if this gets looks like it's thickening up, I'll probably just do it in the pot swirl and get it in the mold. Turn my colors off to the side because I'm gonna pour back into this pitcher when I split it. But right now, let's get our lye solution in here. 
and hope that everything goes really well. So I'm going to stir and then pulse. So I get a feel for this, that it looks beautiful. Okay, definitely have emulsion, so let's get this split for our colors. We're back the next day and look how pretty this came out. I'm so happy with it. It looks lovely. It smells beautiful. And so now I need to unmold it and we're going to cut it with this little, uh, kind of looks like a dough um, scraper, but it's a soap slicer that came in the kit. So let's get it out of this mold. And we're going to lose some of these rose petals um, just you know, because that's part of having stuff on top of your soap. So this is super easy to get the silicone out. It's got the little holes there. I just used my thumbs to push that out. That was easy. So. Oh, this looks great. Okay, so I'm just pressing on the bottom to kind of break the seal. And look at how beautiful this unmolded. Sharp corners, that salt water did a beautiful job of firming this up in the mold. Oh, I'm loving it. All right, let's get to cutting and see how that spoon swirl came out. All right, it is time to cut. And just like if I was using my multi-bar cutter, I'm gonna put this with the topping side down to help reduce drag marks. So if I cut it with the roses on top, it would drag the rose petals through the soap and it can mark up the inside of the soap. So the first thing I want to do now is mark my bars here. And my soap cutter that I normally do is about an inch and an eighth is what my wires are set at. So that's what I'm gonna mark this at because I like that size. So I'm just gonna take the corner of this and sort of make little nicks here right on down the line. I need to turn the loaf this way so that I can look up and down on the soap cutter here and it's got a nice sharp edge on it so let's just get it lined up here and press down it's a nice firm bar today 
So that salt and this recipe is a really nice combo. I got a little bit of chunkage there, but look at that beautiful swirl. So I'm gonna have to go a little slower. It kind of cracked at the bottom. It's fine, but oh, that swirl, that color, I'm really happy with that. All right, let me go a little bit easier on this next cut. All right, that was a little better. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm so happy with these. And I tell you what, they really covered everything in this kit. If this was my very first time making soap, I would be so delighted <laughs> with this bar. I mean, I'm an experienced soap maker and I'm still delighted with it. It's just wonderful. Oh, it's so pretty. Aren't those swirls lovely? That little spoon handle swirl. And you could do that with a, a spatula or you know you don't need a spoon handle just any chopstick would work for this kind of a swirl was a four and a half pound batch of soap and they gave me enough supplies in this kit to make two full loaves of this plus extra so that is really nice and then let me check this one again see if we're about the same yeah 4.8 really nice I mean that's a good size bar I like that all right, we're back. And so I en ended up with a total of 14 full-size bars, which are gonna be about four and a half ounce bars, and then one little wonky end piece, which I might keep for myself or make samples out of. Um, so kind of 15 bars. If I had cut these at one inch, I probably would have gotten 15 bars easily out of this full size. But I like to cut them a little thick, just what I like to do. So here they are, and now I'm going to bevel and stamp these which is not part of the kit. This is just something that I like to do. So let's uh, grab a bar and let me show you what I do. When I have botanicals or bits on top of my soap, I take the lid to my little soap scrap bucket here and I just kind of bop it and let anything fall off. I tap off any of the extra botanicals and then I'm gonna come in with my peeler. Here we go. And bevel the edges of the bar and this is something that you don't have to do at all. This is a totally extra step. And as a new soap maker, I didn't really bevel the edges on my bars, but um, I like it for a finished bar. I feel like it's a little more comfortable in the hand. Totally not necessary. And this is just a vegetable peeler from the grocery store. Super inexpensive. You can get them for, you know, five bucks or so. Um, so again, this is unbeveled, is a beautiful bar of soap. So it's not a huge difference. This, you're ready to go. But there it is. And now I'm gonna do my stamp. So pick a side here. I'll do this side. I take 99% rubbing alcohol and spritz it so that it will release from the soap without sticking. And then the alcohol just evaporates right out. Place it wherever it is that I want it and stamp. And there we go. Oh, I'm just tickled with these bars. I think they are so pretty. So I'm gonna get the rest of these beveled up and stamped, and then tomorrow we'll come back and do a lather test and do a wrap up. are back the next day and I'm going to give this bar a lather test. This is my little end piece and I decided to keep it for myself. I bopped off the rose petals, whatever came off, because, you know, I didn't want them floating around in there to take away from the effect of the lather. So let's give this a try. Just have a bowl of warm water here. 
This was such a fun project to make. Boy, I wish I had had this my very first batch of soap. I would have been so much more encouraged and it would have saved me a lot of trial and error. Oh, it lathers beautifully. It feels silky smooth. So nice. There's my rose petals. Let me set this down. Oh, this lather builds up beautifully. So it's nice and dense right away and then add a little water and it's gonna get a super thick and fluffy. This is a lovely silky lather. It feels great, it rinses really nice. I am absolutely delighted with this soap and this kit, it was so fun and easy. So again, if you know a beginning soap maker who doesn't have their equipment yet or who just needs some help getting started, I really think this kit is so inclusive. I mean, look at if you can do this on your first time out of the starting blocks, that's pretty awesome. So I love it. Thank you, Makesy, for sponsoring this video and sending me this kit to play around with. I think it's wonderful, and I have enough to make another batch of soap, so we'll be doing that in the future. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and have a wonderful day.